Welcome to the Property Profits Podcast. Thank you so much for jumping on today. I'm here to drop some value like I do for y'all. I bought three tiny homes for $6,000 a piece. And I'm telling y'all this story for a reason, because I am a big proponent of affordable housing and it is out there like crazy right now. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did this, but I'm gonna tell you the numbers first. I bought three tiny homes, 6,000 a piece. They were asking $20,000 for each. I got them to 6,000 for each. Actually, one of my partners, a VA partner that I have that does my social media and he's actually sourcing units for me now for commission, found these units. So I didn't find them. I assisted with the negotiation, but he already had it mostly locked up. But anyways, long story short, $18,000 all in. These three units can fit on a big ass travel uh, transport. So that cost me $4,500. I have three spots available on a park that I already have. So I'm having those three spots cleared out, which cost me $5,000. Let's do the math really quick. 18,000, man, I wish I had a calculator. $18,000 for three units, $4,500 is 22.5. 5,000 to clear two of the spots. One was already ready. What is that? 23.5 that I say plus five on 28.5. Let's call it 30 grand, right? 30 grand all in. I can rent these things for $700 a piece. So 30 grand to make $2,100 a month. My park brings in 18,000 a month right now. My mortgage payment on that park is $6,000 a month. That's not with uh, taxes and insurance. So these are going to pay 30% of my mortgage for $30,000. And it's going to improve the NOI like crazy. This is a crazy ROI, a crazy investment. Anybody would do it. So all we do is just make tons of offers on Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups. Lots of no's, lots of screw you's, lots of get out of here's. Some people say, yes, you're solving my problem. Get this crap out of here. You got to make offers. Usually we're paying like five to seven G's for this stuff. If it's mobile home, sometimes we pay 3K, 1500, whatever. We find buyers for this stuff. But I knew I had three spots. I knew I wanted to find. I was gung-ho about filling these three spots. I have a mentor that was on my ass about it because he says, anytime you have a vacant spot, you better fill that thing. So I had already sold a tiny home. I got one for 3500 that I sold to a buddy of mine just right before that. It made me sick. I was like, damn, I should have kept it. But I'm telling you this because maybe you're like, damn, Travis, I don't want to go buy land to put these on. Here's a thought. And here's what I'm doing for people or about to do for people. Buy one of these, put them in an RV park, pay a lot rent and rent it out or sell it on a note or sell it or whatever. But then you don't have to buy the land. RV rents like $350 a month or something like that. $300 a month for just a lot. So you can have those drips coming all the time. You could pay that thing off really quick and just be making month like monthly money. I just want to open your mind up to this and like... I talked to a guy today and I was like, hey, for 15 G's, because I find stuff like six and seven grand. I was like, for 15 G's, I can find you something, source it. I'm going to mark it up. I'm going to charge you 15 K. I'm going to get it transported to a park. We're going to get it rented out. You're going to end up profit with 300 bucks a month. He's like, that doesn't sound like a lot. I was like, okay, let me tell you how wealthy people think. $15,000, you, you, you invested that, but now you own the unit. And $300 a month times 12 is $3,600. $3,600 divided by 15,000, your original investment is like 23% or something like that. I'm gonna calculate in front of me, I've done this math before. That, do you know anywhere else you get that kind of return on your money in the stock market or anything really quick or anything like that? I'm not saying it's just really quick, but you're making a great return on your money and you own an asset somebody's managing it. You're getting paid every month for this thing. If you ever wanted to do anything with it, you can pick this thing up and go sell it and make your original investment back. This is freaking crazy. So I just wanted to give you all insight on that world and how these things work. It doesn't always take a ton of money to make these drips. Say that you have this goal of 10,000 a month in rentals, whatever. I just showed you how you can make 2,000 right there. With 30,000. If you don't have the 30,000, maybe save up to get it or borrow it and make half of that. Make a thousand a month and you borrowed it and the other person makes a thousand. There's ways to do this. You got to open your mind, open your perspective, think bigger. I was in this mastermind that I'm in every week. A billionaire holds it. There's several multi millionaires in there. And these people have some crazy ass conversations. 
really makes your mind work. They're buying 60 million, 100 million, 200 million dollar apartment complexes. We're underwriting them. And like the conversations that go on there is nuts. The difference between like normal folks and them is just they believe they can do it. They just talk about this stuff like it's like just normal everyday language. So I just really challenge you to open your mind, open your perspective. If there's a goal you have, income goal, anything like that, you can hit it. Just make the plan. Get super focused. Make it happen. I appreciate you jumping on. If you like this content, you want more of it, you want more episodes, leave an honest review. Tell us what you think. Be completely honest. You like it, you don't like it. Refer a friend. We're not running ads. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. We got some bomb guests coming up.